Hi and welcome to another Cool Cam 26 tutorial. Um, I'm gonna show you how to kind of dual boot your Windows PC with your Mac, uh, with a Mac kind of thing. It's not obviously it's not a real Mac because that's um, kind of impossible because the computer and Mac are c use uh, different com sorts of computers. They um, work in completely different ways. So um, I'm using Windows 7. Um, you can do it with basically what well, you can do it with any um, operating system, um, but you you just um, go to camscoolweb.co.uk in any internet browser and click on the side link dual boot Windows with Mac. Click on the f link one it says and um, click begin download. Um, oh no, not yet. You need to select your country. So click begin download. Um, now that would take uh, that took it actually took me two out two or three hours, but that's because I've got a very very slow download connection. Um, it it's about seven hundred um, um, no yeah seven hundred megabytes, so it'll take a while. Um, you can, if you're using Windows Seven, you can just double click on it once it's done. Otherwise, you have to go to the website again and click link to. And click on download. That would take a while, so um, I'll only take a couple of minutes actually. But you just um, you just click run and stuff, and yeah, just install Image Burn. So once that's done, you need to open it, which it should do automatically after it's finished installing. And click. Oh, sorry, I'm doing this really fast. Right click file to disk. Uh, this is because I've actually filmed this before earlier, and I'm. Doing it now because um, I've only just bought a microphone because my old microphone was really bad and it had really bad recording quality. So yeah, just find that file and da and you should just click on that little um, image below the mouse cursor at the moment. So yeah, so once that's burnt, just um, no, yeah, once that's burnt, go onto your computer and find the um, your disk drive and open that and it should be caught in a f um, you should find an application called Wubby or wh however that's pronounced I'm not really sure so just um, if that does come up that um, thing it shouldn't do but just click continue if it does and click install inside windows you can change different settings I usually do mine at about 5 gigs because I yeah, I um I don't use it, use it as my default operating system. So, just type in your um username, password. Um, for some reason, it doesn't let you do capital letters for your username. So just do lowercase, and that would take about ten minutes. Um, well, it did on mine. Um, so just wait for that to be done, and once that is done, make sure you take the disk out. Okay, just fast forward in in time there. Make sure you take the disk out, otherwise when you restart it, it will try and install it onto your computer as a new operating system. So, I'll just switch to camera. Really bad quality camera. Click reboot now. Make sure the disk is out, otherwise it will not work. So, just shut down. I'm actually using my sister's high school u um high school musical microphone which um kind of I hope one of my friends doesn't just turn up and see me using this um yeah okay um <laughs> cuz my old one kind of is really bad really really bad and so right you when this reboots you should see two operating systems first one is your one that you've been using which should either be well, whatever your Windows one is, so it might be Windows Vista XP or Windows 7 or even earlier ones and then just go down and select Ubuntu with the arrow keys and enter so that will just load that now another fast forward in time in a minute uh, that will take a um, couple of minutes to load that bit I just fast forwarded it by like a lot so that will um, that will um, load up and that will look like that. It's just got to finish the install installation. That I can't remember how that how long that took. That probably took about ten minutes too. So 
whenever you see a transition, that's when it's fast forward in, in time, if you haven't already worked that out. Okay, so that will restart again. And it will load up, select Ubuntu again. Mm -hmm. Um, as you'll see, it's not actually. It doesn't look anything like a Mac at the moment. So we need to just click enter here. We need to um change it and add modifiers and things like that. Add a dock. Change the top bar. Remove the bottom bar. So that loads up, and you'll need to type in your username and password as you had it earlier. You should only see one username and password. You can change that later, but I'm not going to show you how. Just search Google. It is quite straightforward. Just click on your username and type in your password. Click login or enter, whatever you prefer. <laughs> and um, that'll load up. I think there's another fast forward in time in a second. Oh no, actually it's going to turn into the um, computer. I downloaded a screen capture software, which is alright. It took me ages though, so, because you have to install one, and, and then another, and then another, and then another. So just click on that little um, Wi-Fi symbol in the top bar, and click your Wi-Fi um, connection. Just type in your password if you have to, if not, don't worry. Now click on the Firefox icon to the left, in the left of the bar. Now t search for Camscore Web dot code UK or type in cam school web dot code UK yeah um in the bar so just click on dual boot windows with mac in the bottom of the bar and then click on link one um uh, mac full in and download that so that well since it's my computer as I think I've already said this um it's uh, it's a very slow internet connection so I've just got to uh, it took me about ten minutes to do this. Just click OK, and it will um, it will download. Oh, yeah. So it'll take ten minutes. Oh well, yeah. If you're using my computer, which you probably won't be, and then click on the. Oh, I forgot to do this earlier. So this is. Don't worry if you haven't got this background or anything. Um, just type in. Uh, go on to that. Um into the applications accessories terminal and type um su sudo s u d o a p t hyphen get space update and that will take a few minutes again you can do this while it's installing I can't remember. This was really quick because I've already done the update on at this point because I completely forgot to record this part before and without it you won't be able to install any software very easily anyway so just click extract once that's finished installing and click ex extract again and then show the files I think and then click this should bring you to your home folder and click mac for lin install v1.0 and click on mac for lin install v1.0 dot sh and click run in terminal and that will just take, that will only take 20 seconds maximum. Just click Y and enter, that means yes. And then type in your password. This is unlike um, Windows, you won't actually see your password being entered. It'll just, it, so don't worry, it's not your keyboard, it will work. Um, so that will be done. And then click System Preferences Appearance. And as you can see, it's not actually looking like a Mac at the moment. It's because what you need to install the theme. So you need to click on. Um, GTK under MacFillin and click on GTK Aqua version of V1.0. 